Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I wanted to create this video on how to install the latest WordPress on your website, create a nice website, and also uh, how to install themes or the basic idea of how to install themes. So uh, let's go through it. Um, so the first step is you, you need to go to WordPress.org and go ahead and download the latest WordPress uh, file. So uh, I already downloaded it to save some time so you people don't hang on the video and uh, we'll just show you through. So you, know, you click on uh, WordPress download, click on download and you download the zip file. Okay, so I'm just going to click on it and then we can use it. Um, now while it's downloading, what we want to do in the meanwhile is actually go to our server, set up the space, set up the database, and then we can upload everything and then start with the installation. So um, step one, again, download WordPress. Step two, go to your server. And uh, in this case, um, we're just setting it on one of our other domains, uh, which is on a GoDaddy hosting shared account. So you can see a few steps of how we associate it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to web hosting and going to my hosting account, clicking on launch. And the first thing I wanted to do is set up the domain. So um, what we actually do is went to hosted domains, and we're going to put it on one of our uh, new domains, which is called uh, I am DJ Ami. It's for a DJ site for a relative, and uh, we associated it. So now on the server, um, the server basically has set up the account, so we can log in and throw the file. So number one for this we set up the domain so we'll go to our favorite FTP client and after we actually download it the WordPress files we're gonna upload it to the server so what we did is we uploaded it to server in zip file and uh, we created this unzip PHP simple file to just unzip the file okay so what we're gonna do is go ahead and run it and it'll extract the files okay so unzip.php and we're unzipping the files pretty straightforward let it finish and we'll move on to the next step okay so I'm gonna go to the server refresh and now all of my files are here um, and what I'll do is I'm actually going to delete these files okay so this and this okay so now step two on the server we have to set up a MySQL database so I'm going to go back to the hosting, sorry, uh, back to hosting right here, and I'm going to close these, and I'm going to set up a database. So we go down to the bottom all the way to MySQL, and what we're going to do is click on Add a New Database. Now, I've already added it in order to save a, a time because it takes time to set it up, and I'll show you the details here. So we created a database name, database, uh, of course password and this is our host name so uh, typically if you're on a, a virtual dedicated dedicated you're gonna have a local host a local uh, host name but on the shared hosting for GoDaddy you need to note this as well so we copied all of this stuff into a text file so we have it for later and we're gonna uh, proceed so uh, the next step which is the third main step is we actually want to go to the server and input the username password and all of the MySQL database information right before we actually install it. So we go to the server where we a, a unzipped everything and we go to the file called wp-config-sample. So what we're going to do is edit it with our information and the first thing I'm going to copy and paste the username and the database. So under GoDaddy shared hosting, just a tip, the username and the database name are always the same. So you know each server, each uh, hosting is going to be different. So I'm going to replace it here, replace the username, and I'm going to input the password as well, which is this one. Okay, go to the and password, and then I'm going to replace the host name which is this whole thing right here go back and replace it and save the file okay now it finished uploading and then the next part is I'm going to change the file name and just delete the dash sample 
So the final file name should be wp-config.php. Hit enter, let it run, and now just go, the next step is we're going to go to the domain and start installing. Pretty, pretty simple, or even more than pretty simple. Okay, and we're going to go to the domain, hit enter, and we actually have some kind of error. So let's see what happened, what, what I did wrong. Okay, hit the refresh, wp-config, and for some reason I actually um, saved it in a different kind of format. So let's go back and see how I fix this. This is actually, okay, temp, config, Okay, so I'm going to actually edit it, not with a notepad, but with WordPad. Okay. What we're going to actually do in order to fix it is I'm going to re-upload the config file and just uh, fix it. So, you know what happens. Let's go here. Open it with... Word uh, with WordPad, save it, and now I can open it with the Notepad. Okay, and let's enter all the information. Same thing again. Okay, post name. Save. Upload. Actually, let's change the name here and just upload, and we're good to go. Okay. Now we got it. Okay, so fixing errors. You know, sometimes we make some mistakes. It's probably a compatibility issue with a, a Windows or with the notepads, some kind of uh, line breaks or some kind of, uh, um, you know, the, the way the notepad actually saved it. So now I'm going to go back, and let's install it. Okay, perfect. We got it. So site title is the I am DJ Ami, and I'm going to replace, it's always better not to have a username admin because that's a, a pretty default one, so um, I set up just a random one here, and of course passwords, twice, one, two, um, your email, right now I'm going to just set up our own, and we can change that information later, and because we're working on the site, let's take off the allow search engines to index and we'll put it back on when the site is ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to click on install, and we're good to go. So let's log in. Okay, password and username, and we're logged in. So let's just check the site that it looks that it's running correctly, and we finished uh, the first part, which is setting up the website. So yeah, that's it. So WordPress is installed on this domain. I am DJ Ami. Um, now I want to go to the second part of the video, which is installing a theme. So I'm going to show you the basic idea with installing, and then you have to uh, find your own, create your own, buy one, whatever it is you want. So now I go to the dashboard, and we go to the appearance uh, tab and to themes. Okay. Um, now what we want to do is actually go to install themes and we want to search for, for one theme that's interesting for us. So let's actually go to features and just you know browse randomly. So let's say we like um, this theme right here. So what we want to do is uh, you know you can preview it, get some more information, see what people write about it. But just for the video I want to show you, let's install one. Okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go here. Um, to install right now, okay, and activate, okay, and that's pretty much it. Let's go to the website, see that the theme changed, and we're good. Perfect, the theme changed, everything looks good. Uh, just one quick tip, uh, if you don't install themes from WordPress, from the built-in WordPress.org, what you need to do is either buy a theme or create it, and what you're going to get is you're going to get a folder with all the theme information. So uh, if you have it, you go to the folder, you go into your website, into the folder WP-Content, 
uh, into themes and you just paste your theme right there. So, uh, you know, this is actually the theme we just installed and you just, you know, upload it into the server and then you go back to appearance and themes and it'll recognize if it's a correct theme. It'll recognize it here, go activate it and you're good. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We had a quick, uh, you know, uh, detour with uh, what was going on with the error and, you know, sometimes it happens, but you can always ask us questions. You can search online, find uh, uh, solutions, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much.